today I am showing you uh, how to connect to uh, your mobile FTP server from your Linux machine. Here I am uh, using two interface. One is uh, Android screen monitor by which I am showing uh, how, how to configure, install and configure FTP server on your <coughs> mobile device. And next is I am using uh, VMware Workstation 10.0 uh, using Linux uh, CentOS 6.6.5 and uh, using X Manager interface to uh, show you how to connect to the uh, FTP server on your Android device. So first, uh, let me tell you that uh, uh, our good FTP server you can find on Google Play. This is FTP server which is provided by the Olive Free. Uh, it is a free app, so you can download it from this uh, site. You can see the website web address. I will also provide that uh, address of the link of this. Uh, FTP server, you can download it both from a mobile or your computer. <coughs> so, after installing this, uh, after downloading and installing this, uh, you need to configure this device. So, this is the FTP server you can see here. So, I'm opening this FTP server. It is pre configured, but still, I will show you. Uh, how it is configured as I have shown you in my previous video and how to configure the server I will show you once again so this is uh, the configuration first one is network interface you can see it is a Wi-Fi you can um, use other things as in Ethernet mobile network or Bluetooth pen whichever device you used. I have, you, I'm using Wi-Fi network, uh, Wi-Fi router. Port is uh, 2221. A passive port is this. This is not required. Mm, not so important. Anonymous user? No, I'm not uh, using uh, anonymous user. I'm, I'll use a username and password. So, username is uh, Shubhra and uh, password is given here, system. Home directory. So home directories I've set. Uh, you can set. Uh, you have some predefined home directory uh, like DCIM, SD card, root. You can also use custom folder if you want to make the home directory some other directories which you like uh, to be your home directory. Uh, advantage of uh, setting root directory as a home directory is, is that you can access any folder. Uh, from there you can go into any folder but if you make home directory or any subdirectory you cannot maybe get to the parent folder so after home directory uh, you this is read only no I will not get read only I will uh, unchecking this uh, so that I can write any file show hidden files yes Energy same mode, this is not uh, required. Uh, high priority service, I am ignoring these things. Show server details, okay. So the main thing is username, password, and uh, port, and network interface. So this is done. So I will start the FTP server by clicking on to this, this one. See, it will be to turn to green. Now just look into this. Uh, Protocol is FTP, uh, address is 192.168.0.104 and uh, port is 2221. So I'll connect to this one. Now I'll go to my X Manager. You can see this is my Linux desktop, Center 6.5. So I'll go to places and connect to server. Click on connect to server. Public FTP, no, no, this is not an anonymous user, this is FTP with login. So, as we can see, uh, let's check it out once again. It is one, uh, 104. 192.168.0.104. 
104 port is 2221 folder is root username shubhra you can also add a bookmark uh, suppose uh, i give it my mob ftp connect okay uh, if the password prompt comes that means uh, it it is it uh, found the ip address and it's able to connect if you uh, put the proper authentication you will be connected to the server sub so given the password remember forever forget password immediately what we will do next time again if you access this um ftp la ftp server you will it will again ask for password that can you can do for security but if you use for your personal use you can always choose remember forever remember pass password until you log out is uh, till until you are logging in your log until you are working here and uh, until you log out the password will be remember but after you log out again, again you log in the password will be forgotten and you ever will have to to get the password so i'll just click on connect okay that's lock is on i'm sorry in the forever enter default key ring to unlock you can deny this one this is not so important so you can see we have we are into our mobile device this is the root folder and these are all folder these are all here well, let's check it out we'll verify once again okay i'll just go to my my files application and see where am i Okay. See, data. You'll find everything here. External SD. Actually, it, uh, this interface is uh, defined by the mobile. Okay, it is uh, an ex external interface. But uh, it is not actually showing the directory. Um, but uh, just suppose this RC files dot RC files. Some there is some configuration files. Uh, as I have uh, uh, given there that show uh, set the property show hidden files. So it's showing the hidden files. So you can install other APPs uh, by which you can access the root folder. Suppose uh, if I get the uh, use the es file explorer you can see this is a app uh, by which i by which you can see all the system configuration total uh, access the root folder okay the, which is known as uh, root is known as device here and if you compare this one you can see you can see all the folders are here as you find it here see okay so this is just to, to show you that uh, whether you are getting the same folder we are looking for so these are the folders this is the sd card external 
okay uh, better better open it in browser as it is default mounted on the desktop it is mount on the desktop so you can use the browse folder so it is uh, the advantage is a new window will not open every time SD card here is external SD card okay you see so uh, you can see the uh, let's uh, how we have connected this we have first configured the uh, FTV server We first connected the uh, started the FTP server. We take the protocol address and port number, and as we have seen, we have set username and password from the settings. So we have provided from this going to places and this connect to server. Users uh, used FTP with login provides IP address port 2221 or whatever you set here. Uh, set the folder as root and username as shukro or whatever username you set and you can add bookmark and just connect and put the password and as I have set the bookmark it is it's come on under the places menu so this is how we have connected our mobile device from uh, uh, Linux machine Thank you very much.